took a trip to the gorgeous city of Ithaca and uncovered a diamond in the rough. Uh, we met with, it's a, a hedge fund run by Cornell MBA students, and we spent a few hours talking with them, talking about their discipline and strategy, and got a remarkable uh, tour of their remarkable facility. And let's take a look. As Wall Street braced itself against the towering threat of recession, a small group of students in central New York were feeling a bit more confident. In 2008, the Cayuga Fund, Cornell University's student-run hedge fund, outpaced the falling markets, remarkably showing a positive 0.42% growth. Sanjeev Bojraj is the director of the Parker Center for Investment Research and the designated manager for the Cayuga Fund. The fund itself is a separate legal entity, so it's an LLC. Mm -hmm. It's really not part of Cornell. It, uh, it's, it's a separate legal entity. And the reason is we wanted to keep it, keep all the legal issues distinct from Cornell, though it runs uh, as an in integral part of the of the school, of the Johnson School. Um, so most, all of the investors are outside investors, and we are answerable to them for for returns, for performance. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a real hedge fund with real money. Right now we manage about twelve million dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a market neutral equity hedge fund. Which, um, which, which essentially says that we go long and short, we deal only in equities, um, we, can, we can buy and sell ETFs, but we don't do options, we don't do fixed incomes. For 10 years, hundreds of second year MBA students have competed for a chance to be a part of this unique education opportunity. It's not a trading class, but a chance to dig deeper into the research and analysis of the equities that can make or break a winning portfolio. It's a tough job, but returns are not necessarily the end of the lesson. The Cuga Fund is a, has a two-part investment approach. The first, investment, the first part is a quantitative screen, a quantitative screen that has been, has been created through academic studies by professors, world-renowned professors that are working in the field now have helped develop the screen and our current professor, Sanji Bojrov, that has helped enhance the screen. He basically gives us a list of investment ideas that are long and short that have shown to outperform in this quantitative list. Then the second year portfolio managers, which is about 32 of us, go in and do fundamental analysis on these stocks. So this two two-prong approach to investing has really helped us, I believe, outperform and the discipline that we've had in making sure that we are hedged. And then, of course, it's never perfect. You can't avoid the fact that if, um, if the market is down, and like in the last six months, almost every stock is down. So, but the, uh, the, way, the way we think about it is, is so long as our, our longs go down less than our shorts, okay. we, are, we are doing fine even in a down market. So we really don't care whether the market is up or down uh, because we are market neutral. Each class, students take turns pitching their assigned equities. Even if they're convincing, it takes a two-thirds majority vote from the entire class to send that stock to the portfolio. There isn't that much uh, turnover in the portfolio. We, we like to see some of our investments and uh, our investment ideas play out over time. The reasons why the Johnson School and our Cuyuga MBA Fund did really well last year is because we stayed disciplined. We stay disciplined in making sure that we hedge all of our positions. So for example, one of the stocks that we had purchased last year was Big Lots. And Big Lots is a closeout retailer uh, that many of you guys know. And in, when we purchased that stock, we also went short the consumer cyclical index, meaning that we felt Big Lots was going to outperform the rest of the consumer cyclical stocks out there because of their business model and some of the, in, the fundamentals that they had in their business. Working with real money does add an extra dose of responsibility to how the students approach their assignments. But up or down, the ultimate goal of the Cayuga Fund is to provide an unparalleled educational experience. The Cayuga Fund exists uh, for two main goals. One is uh, the primary uh, focus and what we try not to ever lose sight of is the educational mission of the fund. Uh, and the second is to, to try to make money. And uh, the in terms of education, I think the fund works really well because uh, since the investors are making their investment in the fund as, it's not exactly a donation, but they, are, they buy into our uh, educational mission. And so that gives the uh, portfolio managers the flexibility to do fundamental analysis on stocks that they're interested in and make recommendations uh, without having to worry at the same time about some of the investor relations and redemption issues and things like that that might come along with a uh, more traditional mutual fund. Since 2002, we have generated about 12% uh, 
per year uh, CAGR, so compounded. So we are up about 92% um, from October 2002 to now, which if you compare to any of our benchmarks is, I think, pretty good performance. Pretty good. Uh, and we don't charge don't be, fees. Don't be modest. <laughs> <laughs> well, investing teaches you to be modest uh, because they can, for every, you never know. Uh, this is uh, this is the nature of this business, and and uh, yes, it's been good so far, and I hope it'll continue to be good. But you, it's a tough business. Um, you never know markets. Every time you think you you understand markets and you've nailed it, uh, they can come back and bite you. Currently, the fund is up about 10 basis points for the year, right on track to continue their remarkable performance. But that is just gravy compared to the experience gained by these future money managers. The Cayuga Fund gives you an opportunity to manage live money uh, and really is almost an opportunity to work for a hedge fund uh, and that combines with our immersion program where I'm, uh, I participated in the capital markets immersion mm -hmm. which again has a, a real world performance learning piece to it uh, and that has it's been a wonderful experience and uh, I've been very pleased with the uh, skills that I've gained here. My only major disappointment is that I can't spend more time <laughs> doing more stuff for the Cuga Fund. Um, I feel like some of the other classes get in the way. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you're getting all the, the uh, good assignments. Uh, I should have gone down there for the day, no? Send me away. <laughs> did, did, I mean, did you, come like, did you come away with anything other than what we saw there? Anything that uh, struck you? Just, I, I just think that, you know, we see a lot of negativity on the show, in the markets, and in investors. And I think when you walked into that classroom, there was just ideas flowing, mm. positive ideas. They were finding... Um, finding positive things in a market where nobody else is. It, it was incredible.